Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. I've had a request to demonstrate how you draw shiny and matte metallic surfaces. So I found myself something that has a bit of both. So I'm going to be drawing this padlock and this is the drawing I'm going to be producing. Ta -da! So get yourself some pencils. I've been using a 6B, but you can use an ordinary HB if you like. And you'll need an eraser. And also, I've been using a blending stump. You can get them from your local craft stores. They're very cheap. Um, you don't necessarily need one. You can just use your eraser, but they are helpful. Also, if you like drawing animals, don't forget to download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you'll find in the link just here. Let's get started. So we're going to be using this padlock because it's got a nice shiny metal surface and then it's got quite a matte metallic surface. So we're going to start off with the shiny part first. Get yourself a pencil. I'm using quite a soft pencil, a 6B, but you can just use an ordinary HP if you like. So I've already done the outline here and I've already included some of the shadows underneath just so that the padlock's not floating in the air. We've got some background at least. So very lightly, I'm going to be just shading in a very light gray all over the padlock. I'm going to do this for the um, shiny metallic part and for the matte metallic part. Try to keep your shading all in one direction, so I'm just going up and down. So there we have a very light grey. I'm just going to very lightly blend it in using my blending stump. Okay, so now we're going to start off with the shiny part and we're going to draw in all the reflections using a hard edge. So I'm going to draw in where I can see really dark areas. So there's one just up here. I'm just going to draw the outline. It's a really dark part that comes all around here. And then there's another one that starts here and comes up. I'm just going to colour it in. With the shiny metal, the dark parts are really dark and the light parts are really light. There's no kind of blending in from one to the other. I'm just going to carry on doing this, outlining all the dark parts. I'll speed it up a little bit now. So I'm just going to use a blending stump just to blend some of these areas in. Don't worry, if you don't have one, you can just use your eraser or I don't really advise it, but you can use your finger. It doesn't blend quite so well and it's difficult to get quite such a neat edge because these have got little pointy ends on them. If you want to find out what the tonal values are, just try squinting and having a look and then that'll cut out all the kind of colours and you'll just see the really dark areas and the really light areas. So that's a little tip for you. So just carry on just doing the really dark areas. There we go. Make them really stand out. Now, using your eraser, we're going to very carefully just pick out all the highlights. So there's a highlight going down here. And there's a big highlight going down here. I'm just using the corner of my eraser just to get a little bit of a clean edge. 
and then I just go round and try and get another one. Because the highlights are really, really bright, so you need them really, really clean. I'm just going to tidy that up a little bit. Make sure that the edges are hard. You don't want them too blended. There we go, because that makes it look like it's shiny. There we go. So that's the shiny part. Now we're going to do the matte side. So this is more gradual. I'm still using my 6B. The darker areas are on the right hand side. So I'm just going to do a gradual a gradient going from dark to light. And then I'm doing the lines horizontally, just like this. So I finished my gradient of grey, now I'm going to shade this in and I'm going to blend it using my blending stump. So the matte areas, you don't want any harsh, kind of really hard edges that we've got like we did in the shiny areas. We want a kind of nice gradient and we want it to be smooth and blended. All we'll shaded in like this. So again, you can use your eraser if you don't have a blending stump. These are quite cheap. You can pick them up in any craft stores. They're basically just pieces of uh, a long piece of paper just compressed into a tube like thing with a pointy end and it just helps you to shade and to um, blend. Here we go. Okay, so I'm just going to just define this little bit down the bottom a little bit more. It kind of got lost in all the blending. There we go. Um, this is very dark where the key hole area goes, so I'm just going to put that in again. There we go. And there's quite a harsh edge on the bottom. So add that in. There's another hard edge here. And one at the bottom. And one at the top. And I'm just going to make this a little bit darker on this side. And then just follow it through down here. And also there's another area of dark just here. So I'm shading upwards, so we're doing like some bands going upwards, like this, and then there's just one more, so basically the key to, um, to drawing metal and metallic objects is just really really good observation, just keep on looking at the object that you've got and just try and replicate what you see. If you make any mistakes like I have, just erase them. That's why it's good drawing a pencil. You can get rid of all your mistakes. And believe me, I make a lot of them. <laughs> so just keep on going. And it gets slowly, progressively lighter. And I'm just going to keep on blending these in. There we go. Sometimes you can actually draw using your blending stump if you get enough, look how dirty mine is, if you get enough pencil and graphite on the bottom then 
can actually use it to draw. So I sometimes do that because it produces a really nice soft tone. All right, so there we have it. Just a little finishing touch. I'm just going to add a streak of lighter tone just here using my eraser. And there we have it. There's our finished padlock. If you've enjoyed it, please hit subscribe and like, and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.